Hello everyone, Bill here with Addicted to Tone Incorporated. I'm going to speak to you a little bit today about the uh, cool tube preamps and the integration of a uh, Triax or Triax 2 pickup into the system. Uh, there's some common mistakes people make and it um, makes it seem like the pickup or the preamp is not working properly. Here's the CTP-1, debuted in 2004, followed quickly by the CTP-2. Uh, the CTP-1 had trouble with the um, battery tray circuitry. It had some components in it that were similar to the Acura Acoustic and Takamini Parametric Equalizer uh, preamp. And these um, components uh, eventually would go bad. I always tell folks, just imagine a coffee can full of weak acid. Eventually that acid is going to uh, eat through the can and do damage to the uh, preamp and the component will stop working. Currently, uh, the CTP-3 is the uh, most well-appointed preamp, has the addition of a parametric EQ on it, uh, which the CTP-1, CTP-2 did not have. Now these are fairly easy to identify from the back if you know what to look for. Okay, and here's how you do it. The CTP-1 has vertically aligned um, RCA inputs, and notice that the auxiliary input is yellow, as it is on the CTP-2. Now the auxiliary uh, input on the CTP-3 is red, and that's where some of the confusion comes in. On the previous two cool tube models, the 1 and 2, the auxiliary input is yellow, and the palithetic pickup input is red, but it's kind of reversed on the CTP-3. The auxiliary um, input is red. The palithetic pickup is um, white. Here's another thing you can go by. Um, is the artist switch. It was only really called the artist switch on the CTP-2. Um, on the CTP-1 it's just, it just says power on it when you move that switch to the left that keeps the batteries on um, continuously. The only reason you would do that is if you were using one of the Takamini Acoustic DI Plus direct boxes to phantom power the unit. Otherwise you should um, keep that power switch to the to the right or you'll find yourself going through a lot of batteries. On the CTP2 it was called the artist switch and you would activate that by pressing it in. Now it's in its short position, I call it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little longer when it's uh, taken out of the circuit. But again, you would only you would only activate that if you were using the phantom power from the DI Plus. Horizontally arranged RCA inputs. That's one thing I like about Takamini is they never put out a blue M&M. They never just simply redress an old unit and call it something new. The circuits are quite different. Now on the CTP-3, again with the vertically arranged RCA inputs, but the auxiliary is red, uh, which is opposite of the CTP-2 and CTP-1. The power switch... Um, operates like the CTP-1. If if you activate it by moving it upwards, the preamp will stay on all the time. Uh, so you don't want to do that unless you're using the phantom power. One of the main things I want to talk about today is this confusion between the red RCA jack. Okay, On the CTP-3, that's the auxiliary. And that is where you would plug in your Triax 2 or Triax pickup or the acoustic soundboard transducer if you have one. Not not in the white and that's where some people go wrong. If you plug this into the white RCA the tuner is not gonna work like you want it to. I'll show you real quick here. Plug the, uh, let's plug the preamp in. It's warming up and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Plug in the Triax 2, 
Now usually when you use the Triax 2 with a Cool 2 preamp, you're going to have it in its passive mode. Okay, can you see that switch there? Passive or active. Uh, you can use it active, but that's a lot of power going into the preamp, and you could build up some distortion. Let's plug that in. I'm just going to set it there. Um, let's activate the tuner. And uh, I'm going to put this lead in to the original palithetic input so I can play a tuner tone for you. So it's tracking very nicely. Okay, now here's, here's what some people accidentally do and I understand completely because on the CTP1 and 2, the auxiliary... Uh, jack was yellow so they'll 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 plug the palithetic pickup into the RCA red jack and put the auxiliary pickup in the white white you know being closest to yellow but here's what happens now and I'll use the um, my e tuning fork I have a whole collection of tuning forks um, to test different different things on the uh, preamps and pickups. Uh, if you get a set, make sure that you get a symphonic, symphonically tuned set. There's a lot of tuning forks, tuning fork sets out there that are uh, for medical use, and their uh, pitch points aren't aren't correct for a musician. You, your tuning will be a bit off. Anyway, this is an E. See, the tuner is not working. You think it's not working. Um, that'll kind of work if you... Because the Triax 2 is plugged into the wrong spot, is what I'm trying to show you here. Let's move it to the uh, active mode. Try that again. And I'll tell you right now, it's not going to work. Okay, it's not going to work because since I had it previously in the passive mode, I also had it turned to zero. Now I'm in the active mode. I'm going to turn it all the way up to its most sensitive. And you'll notice that now it will display a, a note. It'll track the E. But, like I say, when you're using the Triax 2, or the original Triax with the Cool 2 preamp, you're going to have it set in the passive mode. And it doesn't really matter if this is turned up or down. I always just turn it down when I have mine in the passive mode. But uh, tuner will not work like that. Okay. And that's just a strange little phenomenon I wanted to share with you. Nothing wrong with the Triax. There's nothing wrong with the uh, preamp. It's just when you have it plugged in wrong, strange things happen. Oh, and it, it won't really work. This, the, the auxiliary input is not designed to capture the uh, tuning. Let me make sure I've got it back in active. Let's see. Yeah, active, and I'm turned all the way up. And I don't think... Ah, oh, you can hear it. You can hear it a little bit. I don't think it's going to tune. Nah, it doesn't track. It's just the original palithetic input that's designed to track the tuning note. Okay, there's a little little oddity I wanted to share with you. Nothing wrong with your system. You uh, just need to check your inputs. All right. Till next time. Have a blessed day.